Hi everyone, this is Trevor from astrobackyard.com. Tonight is a very special night and I'm super excited because there is a comet in the night sky. It is Comet 46P Wirtanen. The closest approach to Earth is on December 16th. Uh, today is December 11th, so it's getting close, it's moving along, and it's getting close to its closest approach to the sun, which means it's getting brighter. But tonight might be my only chance to get it based on the extended forecast I'm seeing. And as a matter of fact, tonight doesn't look the greatest either. It's supposed to be cloudy until about midnight, 1 a.m. But if this is my only chance, uh, it's gonna be tonight. So I'm gonna set up in hopes that the clouds do dissipate and I finally get a shot of this comet. If you're new to this channel, I shoot deep sky astrophotography images here in my light polluted backyard in the city. This will probably be the last time you see this backdrop in the background of this house. Uh, because we are moving at the end of the month because of this YouTube channel. It's winter, so here in Canada it's about minus 5 tonight. So pretty cold, but not bad actually, all things considered. So head out into the backyard, set up my Ioptron Skyguider Pro mount, and uh, I'll show you the setup I'm going to use to capture this comet. Well, she's snowing right now. We'll need that to stop. Comet Wirtanen 46P was discovered in 1948 by Carl A. Wirtanen. It has an orbital period of 5.4 years. That means the time it takes to orbit around the sun. If you're looking to observe this comet visually, it might be pretty tough, especially if you're from the city. It's supposed to reach a magnitude of four, which is quite bright in terms of stars and like a point of light. Uh, but because it's so large and diffuse, proved to be difficult to observe visually. When I say it's large, I mean it's really huge. Currently, it's about 40 arc seconds across, which is actually larger than the full moon. So if you can picture this really huge fuzzball, basically, that's what Comet 46P is right now. It's moving towards the constellation Taurus, so astrophotographers are going to have a great opportunity to frame it up with the Pleiades, and that's coming up uh, on December 16th at its closest approach, when it will be 30 times the distance of the moon from Earth is from us, which is pretty close in, in terms of comets. Let me show you where I'm gonna set my equipment up to uh, take a photo. So using my Sky Safari Pro app, I can see that tonight, Comet 46P Wirtanen is going to be right above my neighbor's house there because that's where Orion is gonna be rising up and uh, Comet Wirtanen is gonna be east of Orion and south of the Pleiades. So I'm hoping that uh, Actually, if it clears up at about 1 a.m. like it's supposed to, it's gonna be much higher than that, which is great for photography, so fingers crossed. The rig I'm gonna to use to photograph this comet is the Ioptron Skyguider Pro. Now this is an equatorial camera tracking mount that was lent to me from Ontario Telescope and Accessories. Let me show you what it looks like. I was just charging it up with the uh, mini USB cable. So it's a totally battery powered mount. The counterweight at the bottom balances the load so it can easily track the night sky without having to work too hard. Balance is very important. So the reason you want to use an equatorial tracking mount like the Skyguider Pro is because it compensates for the rotation of the Earth and will move with the movement of the night sky. Funny enough, this comet won't move at that same speed so you'll see it moving in front of the stars very slowly over time. Another thing to consider is that at this focal length, 300 millimeters, stars will begin to trail at about five seconds. So at least this way, we'll be able to have that stationary background of the night sky with the comet slowly moving in front of those stars. This is a Canon 5D Mark II full frame DSLR camera. It's stock and I won't be using any filters in front of the camera sensor. This lens is a Canon 300 millimeter f4. So at this focal length, it should be the perfect amount. It's very wide to actually capture that fuzzy comet in front of a sea of stars.
So for the camera settings I'm going to use tonight, it's going to be in bulb mode so I can shoot long exposures of probably about two minutes. ISO 800, which is strong enough to gather a lot of light uh, onto the sensor, but not too strong where it creates a lot of noise. And an F ratio of F4. So using this lens at its widest aperture to collect light in the shortest amount of time possible. Really need this snow to stop. Whew. So it ended up staying cloudy that night on the 11th. Here we are on the 13th and it's finally cleared up. The peak of the Geminid meteor shower. I've seen about three or four meteorites streaking across the sky. And most importantly, I have found Comet 46P Wirtanen and I am shooting it through two cameras at the moment. Three if you count this camera, I'm shooting it at three different focal lengths. I'm making this count and I'm not missing it this time. Okay, so I've got both rigs running right now. We just heard that one finish. So that's the Sky Tracker Pro with a Canon T3i and 50mm lens. This is the Ioptron Sky Guider Pro with uh, the full frame 5D Mark II and the 300mm lens. So capturing this comet using two focal lengths at the same time, it's still clear out here. I can't believe it. So I'm going to keep soaking in more and more time. It's crazy to think that a comet is an icy body in space that's orbiting our sun, a part of our solar system that we can predict when it's coming back, and that as it breaks up, as it gets closer to the sun, uh, it, it can start. To, that's when you start to see a tail because uh, it's heating up. This comet uh, 46P doesn't happen to have a tail because, well, it, it actually does, but it's behind the comet from our vantage point. And the brightest for 2018, my first comet ever so happy to be doing this uh, I'm hooked and this is my first comet I've ever photographed in my life and right now I am so excited because I'm gonna end up with three different pictures of this comet one at uh, focal length of 14 millimeters 50 millimeters and 300 millimeters so I've got the Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro with a 50 millimeter camera lens on my uh, T3i DSLR I've got the 300 millimeter f4 lens on my 5d mark ii riding on the ioptron skyguider pro and then i took some tripod shots with this 7d mark ii on just just on the tripod with the uh, rokinon 14 millimeter f218 lens Whew. i am so happy right now i didn't think it was going to happen very close to uh, the peak brightness of this comet uh, it was closest to the sun yesterday so it's very bright right now it's approaching uh, Pleiades so I know a lot of you will capture it in that orientation very cool when I first found it I honestly like took my breath away because uh, it's something I wanted so bad and uh, I hope you enjoy the images of Comet 46p at the end of this video